the APC response comes in the form of a PO, what lawyers call a PO, prelim preliminary objections. What they are doing is contexting the legal grounds in which OB's petition is founded and also raising their own grounds of disqualification. They are invariably saying that by the mere fact that OB left uh, PDP on a certain day, I think 26th of May, 2022, mm -hmm. and joined the Labour Party 27th of May, uh, 2022, and took part in the presidential primaries of the Labour Party on the 30th, you know, the provisions of section 29, subsection one, you know, which deals with uh, uh, the submission of uh, names of candidates of political parties and section 77, subsection two and three, which deals with the register of members of political parties and the time frame within which these political parties are expected to submit this register to INEC. Where section 29, subsection one talks about 180 days, uh, you know, uh, section 77, two and three narrows the time frame to 30 days for submission of register of members to INEC. The contention of APC is that as that when OB left PDP on the 26th of May, you know, uh, 2022. The register of members of Labour Party had been submitted 29 days prior to when he left. So he was not a member of the Labour Party as at when he ran as an aspirant of the presidential primaries of the Labour, of the Labour Party. So that is one limb of the argument to knock the bottom out of the argument obese lawyers have posed in their petitions. For a lawyer who is the one that there is a gulf between the Electoral Act, which is an inferior legislation, legislation to the Constitution, the issue of qualification for presidential candidates, you know, as stated in Section 131, of the constitution, specifically section 1C, subsection 1C of 131, which says that for you to become the president of Nigeria, you must be a member of a political party and be sponsored by a political party. So the argument that will be posed by neutrals like me, who is not involved in the case in the PEP team, is this, is section 77, subsection two and three, which talks about register of members and 30 days of submission of names of registers of members to, 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 to INE, superior to section 131.1c of the constitution. The constitution says that the qualifying ground, the qualifying criterion, you know, among other criteria for you to become president of Nigeria is that you must be a member of a political party and you must be sponsored by a political party. The question here is this, if you look at the way Section 131 is cached, it is not cached in the context of time. So it is not framed by time. So I think that looking at the argument posed by APC, it's not supported by the constitution. The constitution does not say that, oh, you must be a member of political party 30 days before the register of members submitted to INEC. That's at that level. Okay. And Case law here will mean that decisions, racial principles decided by our courts around issues also guide our understanding of the issues. In respect of section 131 and section, section 77 of the Electoral Act, the Court of Appeal is a recent 2023 decision, decision involving Island People's Movement against Peter Obi you know, decided that you cannot contract, you cannot contract the grounds for qualification for president of Nigeria by using section 77, subsection two and three of the electoral act. The only qualifying ground is that specified in subsection 1C. Are you a member of political party? If the answer is yes, you can contest. Are you sponsored by a political party? If the answer is yes, you can run. 
So on the basis of the decision of the Court of Appeal, and interestingly, it is the Court of Appeal that will sit as a presidential election petition tribunal. So that aspect of the reply, respondent reply of APC has, has already been knocked out by a decision, by the current decision of, of the Court of Appeal. Interestingly, the lead judgment of the APF against OB and others, you know, was read by the president of the Court of Appeal, who will be sitting, you know, as part of the P of the PEPT.